I, I don't know about that. They were, first, they didn't know anything about it. They were trying to find out from us whether the vessels came to Guyana. So I'm not sure. But even if they're destined for Guyana, any vessel from any part of the world destined for Guyana could, could, could topple over, could sink, and then create problems anywhere in the world. So would we stop vessels coming from, from Guyana? So were they bringing the oil to Guyana? They were, were they bringing this oil to Guyana? That's the question for you, sir. Oh, okay. Starbuck, so uh, my questions. Okay. Are you concerned that Guyana could face any legal ramification from this spill and its impact on marine life? Legal ramification for what? A vessel that... What? Explain that. There was a statement that was released by Trinidad and Tobago, and it said that the the vessel was destined for Guyana when it toppled and those spills occurred. And currently there is um, approximately, I think, 15 kilometers of Tobago shore that they're trying to clean up with all of this. You know, you're, not, you're not explaining the, the sensible thing. So the logic is that you're saying that a logic, if a vessel is leaving the United States of America destined to Barbados, privately owned vessel, and sinks off the coast of the Bahamas, that Barbados now, a sovereign country, must bear responsibility for that vessel. Because it's a private vessel coming to the country to do private business there. The, the state of Barbados must be responsible for this bill. Is that the logic? Is that the logic? That, is that the logic? Well, it's, it's, it's stupid. It's not sensible. Let's go on. Okay. Uh, secondly, is Guyana expected to basically reach out to Trinidad and any other um, persons that would have been involved in this whole oil spill thing to offer any sort of help when it comes to cleaning up? And um, it has become an international event, tier three event, so a number of international bodies have been um, approached. If we have any capacity to deal with this matter, and you know, like we have already forced Exxon, they did not want to bring the cap and stock here, stock. They, they um, under the new license, one of the new licenses, they now have to have one resident in the country. So if you have a well blowout, they can address that issue. Um, they have to have a subscription with a number of other agencies. But if we have any capacity, then we are willing to share. We are willing to share with any, our neighbors.